Hello, this is Mark with Bailey Software. In this tutorial, we will set up a new account by retrieving positions using the new portfolio wizard. If the new portfolio wizard isn't already open, you can open it with File, New Portfolio Wizard. When the wizard opens, go ahead and enter a name for your portfolio. And you can leave the account number blank for now. We'll get that information from the broker when we retrieve. Just go ahead and click Next after entering a portfolio name. And enable online access. Let's select your broker. We're going to use TD Ameritrade. And go ahead and enter in your username and password as you would to log into their website. And again, leave the account number blank. In this tutorial, we're going to choose the option to retrieve only positions, which just gets the positions as they are today and ignores all history before today. You could also manually enter your positions by choosing this option. And when you page to the next dialog, you'll be given the opportunity to enter each one of your current positions. This, so this is how you would manually enter your current positions, just where you're at today. But we're going to make use of our connection to the brokerage and retrieve the positions from the broker. Go ahead and click Next. And Fund Manager went out to the broker and asked for a list of account numbers uh, associated with the username that we entered. And you can see it found one account number. So we're going to go ahead and use that. Just leave it selected and say OK. And once the retrieve completes, you'll be given an opportunity to review all the investments that it found. And if you have more than 10, just use the Next button to page through your additional investments. And once you're done reviewing the investments, click Next. This gives us the chance to retrieve historical prices by just pressing the Retrieve Now button. And we can go back as far as we want, but for this tutorial, we're just going to go back to the beginning of the year. And since we're not worried about anything that happened as far as splits and dividends before today, we're just going to leave those options unchecked. And just wait for the prices to come down from Yahoo. And then after we retrieve prices, just click Next. And you'll be asked, what would you like to do about a default cash account? You can choose any of the retrieved investments. And we'll just say cash is going to be our default cash account, which is where any proceeds from sales or dividends will be deposited. And any money that's used for purchases will be withdrawn from. And there's a separate tutorial on how to track cash that we'll link down below. But once you select your default cash account, just press Next. And the final step is just to choose the location for your new uh, sub-portfolio. And we'll go ahead and put it in the only place we can, which is the top-level master portfolio. OK, our account's been set up. And we're going to go ahead and take a closer look at it in the portfolio editor. Select the account. And we'll just go ahead and reconcile this account just to make sure everything was retrieved properly. So right mouse click on the sub-portfolio and choose Reconcile. When you reconcile, you're comparing the share balances in Fund Manager to the share balances from a statement source. And our statement source is going to come from the broker. Um, to retrieve, just go ahead and click Next. And there is a, another tutorial on reconciling that we'll link to down below as well for more details. So Fund Manager went out to the broker and got the statement and compared our share balances to the brokerage statement. And there are 14 balanced investments. Um, this is empty because there's nothing to show that's out of balance. But if you want to see everything, you can un uh, uncheck that option. Okay, So we'll just click Finish to complete this reconciliation. OK, we've set up our first account. To repeat this for other accounts, you just go back to the File menu and go to New Portfolio Wizard and repeat the same steps for any other accounts that you'd like to set up.
Once you have all your accounts set up, you're going to want to save your data. There are two types of files saved by Fund Manager. There are investment files and there's a portfolio file. Every investment is saved to its own investment file where transactions and properties for that investment are saved. To save your investments, just choose File, Save All Investments. And your portfolio file saves your whole workspace, all your sub-portfolios, which investments belong in each sub-portfolio, and all your preferences. To save your portfolio, just choose File, and the first time you're going to have to give it a name, so say File, Save Portfolio As, and just give it any file name that makes sense to you, and click Save. Whenever you exit Fund Manager, your data will automatically be saved for you. But if you'd like to force a save at any particular time, just go back to File and choose Save All Investments and File, Save Portfolio. After you exit Fund Manager and restart it, your last saved portfolio file will automatically be reopened so that all your data comes back just the way you left it. Okay, thanks for watching this Getting Started tutorial.